this new process is unbelievable simple. Hey there fellow Unreal Engine creators, today we are diving into the exciting world of animation retargeting using Unreal Engine 5.4. In the past I showed you how to retarget for Unreal 5.3, you can find this video in the description. But with this release of Unreal 5.4, the process is becoming insanely simple. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications should you never miss our latest tutorials and updates. If you're hungry for more on Real Engine knowledge, head over to woolen.com, subscribe, and receive immediate discounts on our comprehensive courses. And speaking of courses, get ready for something truly special. We are gearing up to launch our Kickstarter campaign for Unreal Blueprints from Zero to Hero, where you'll have the chance to unlock all my past and future courses with just one pledge. It is an opportunity you won't want to miss. So buckle up and let's embark on this journey together. Let's get started. Well guys, as you know, Unreal 5.4 has been released and with it we have fantastic features that I will be presented during the, le the next weeks. But in particular, I want to focus on this lesson on the retargeting. And you know that I have other tutorials related to retargeting and you've seen how, how difficult this process was. But in this case, now Unreal is making things incredibly easy. And I'm going to, I want to show you, because this is extremely exciting for me, to, uh, to present you how we can make retargetings. If you want to see the previous lessons, you can check on the links on the description. But I want you to check uh, this. So for starting, let's create a simple project in Unreal 5.4. I am going to select Games and because we want to retarget animations, I'm going to select the third person character. You can pick the starter content or not. I'm going to call this retarget on Real Engine 5.4, which is, oh, is fantastic. Now let's create this. Let me add the content browser here and let's start working on this. Well, as you see, this is the third person project, the default project of Unreal. So what we're going to do is retarget using Mixamo. Let's open Mixamo web page. And I have here a couple of animations I want to add. The first one is this one, which is like, a, I don't know, Spider-Man walking. I really like it. So I'm going to download FBX 30 uh, in frame per seconds and skin. So I'm going to download this one. And the other is going to be a different animation. It is the dance animation. You can take whatever animation you want. And we're going to add another animation. What about using something like this breakdance animation? I like this one. Yeah, fantastic. Let's go download with the same parameters. And now we're going to import this animation. So I'm going to close this. First of all, I, you know, I always like to keep my things in order. I'm going to create a folder called games. And in this one, I am going to create one for animations. Where we're going to add the particular animations. In fact, I'm going to call this one. No, yeah, I'm going to call it animations and inside animations, I'm going to mention where is the source of these animations. In my case, it's going to be Mixamo. Excellent. And now we're going to drop the animations here. I'm going to import just one of the animations that I have at this moment. Let's start with the breakdance ending. I'm going to put it here. And at this moment, I will select the skeletal mesh, the import mesh, and I'm going to select import animations in case that you don't have it. Import all. When this message appears, you can close it. Nothing is going to happen. And now, now I'm going to put some order here because we're very ordered in our work. First, I'm going to create a folder for the materials. And these two materials, I'm going to move them here. The second thing is I'm going to open a folder for the animations. And as you can see, we have a couple of animations, which are these two, these sequences that we have here. But the typos, I don't need it. So I'm going to force the delete of this one. And for this animation, I'm going to drag it to here and move here. 
Now let's uh, rename these, uh, these elements. For example, this skeleton, I don't like to name it like what it is at this moment. So I would say SK and the corresponding uh, source in this case is Mixamo. I'm going to call it SK Mixamo. For the physics assets, I'm going to call it in a, deeper, uh, in a similar way. It could be FIS, for example, assets and associated, of course, with Mixamo. And the skeletal mesh is going to rename as well SKM, I usually call them, and of course, Mixamo again. Now, we know that for a third person uh, project in Unreal, we use a character which Blueprints is located here in third person Blueprints. So let's me open this one and locate the skeletal mesh. Close here, and here is the skeletal mesh. Now, what I want is to transform the animations of Mixamo to be used for this skeletal mesh. First of all, I'm going to create inside this, I'm going to create an, a new folder, which will be the exports from the Mixamo. So I create a new folder and I'm going to call it here, or the retargeting for Mixamo is the, the right way to call it. Now I'm going to Mixamo and I'm going to add the other animations that we downloaded. At this moment, I have other two animations. I know that I just downloaded two, but I have other two here. One is the uh, the low crawl and the other is the capoeira. This is the one I was looking for before. So I'm going to drag these animations here. And difference to the process that we did a moment ago, remember that we have now the skeletal mesh of Mixamo. So what we're going to do is to select, instead of uh, import mesh, we're going to select this one and look for the Mixamo skeleton that we renamed a moment ago. And then import all. So now we have the animations and the T-poses again, which we don't need. So I'm going to force delete. And as you can see, we can check the animations. Here they are working properly. Let me check this one, which was the last part of the breakdowns. And we have the low crawl, <laughs> which is creepy, but also is a Spider-Man like. Okay, now I'm going to select any of these animations. Let's say the breakdowns ending. Right click and select retarget animation. And this is where the magic of this thing happens. Let's select the target skeletal mesh. We mentioned that was the queen skeletal mesh and it was the SKM queen simple. Let's click it. And now let's test the animations. Look at that. We have all the animations ready to be, re they are already retarget. We just need to export these animations. And this is really fantastic. I think this is amazing for the new version of Unreal Engine 5.4. So let's select all of this and export the animations. And remember that we create a folder for it. It was in characters, mannequins, animations, mixamo, and a sub prefix, I always, when I retargeting, I always add the RTG before and an underscore. Let's export. At this moment, we don't have to override existing. So export. Here we are in the mannequin, but we have the exports from Mixamo. Let's give it a look. Fantastic. This is really, really amazing. We have the animations that we needed. Great. Let me take another one. Excellent. Now, let's say that I want to uh, to import or to retarget as well, but for another character from Unreal. Open the Epic Games again. Let's go to Marketplace and let's find uh, the Paragon characters. And let's say I want to download a character like this one, like Paragon Yin. The thing that you have, uh, the, the challenge, a small challenge that we have at this moment is that they don't support the version 5.4. So we can add it to our project, to our 5.4 project. Now I create a different project, which is a, a 5.3 pr project. And this is just a very simple project where I can import this new character and then move it to um, to the another project that I wish to. So in this case, I added the Paragon Yin, which is 
this character I just added to the other project. You can select Add Project and select the 5.3 project or even a previous version. And here I have the Paragon Yin with all the features related to this character. So what I want is to export this project to my 5.4. I'm going to right click here, select Migrate, select the target UE54 and inside the content. It has to be all the time in the content folder. Even though you can later on change the folder, at the beginning it has to be on this folder. Don't mind about these messages that you will receive, these error messages that you receive. Now that we exported the, the Yin uh, character, I will go to the corresponding folder and until I get to the animations, and in animations, I'm going to create a new folder. Let me call it here, new folder. I'm going to call this one Mixmo. Fantastic. So here is where I'm going to add the retargeting animations from Mixmo. Now, for this character, for this particular Yin character, you have the meshes and you have the skeletal mesh called Yin. This is the only information that we need. Now we go to Mixemo, to the source animations. I'm going to select any of them and then retarget animation. And in this case, I am going to select the skeletal mesh of Yin. And here we have all the animations that we can do with Yin. And as you can see, they are looking amazing and perfect. Now I'm going to select them all, export animations, and let's go to the corresponding folder, which is Yin and animations and Mixemo, and of course the RTG to know that these are the retarget animations. I don't have to overwrite anything, so export. And now we have a Mixemo, and this is these are the retarget animation, and as you can see, looking Perfect. Look at that. And the process is so simple, guys. Now the process, thanks to the new update of 5.4, of Unreal 5.4, the process is as simple as taking the source, defining what is the animation that you want to export or to retarget, right-click, select retarget animation, and set what is the other skeletal mesh that you are going to use just like that. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more on Real Engine tips, tricks, and tutorials. Ring the bell to stay updated with our latest content. For exclusive discount on Unreal Engine courses, head over to Woolen.com and subscribe to unlock your special offers. And get ready for our Kickstarter by following the link on the description and hitting the Notify Me on launch. You'll have the chance to access all my past and future courses with just one pledge. It's a deal you won't want to miss out. Thanks for tuning in today, keep creating, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next video.